Tyler starts right now. First here at 4 o'clock, crews still searching today for a 14-year-old who went missing Sunday afternoon during red flag conditions. Our Zach Herrig is live in Grand Haven with an update for us to start this hour, Zach. Yeah, Doug, Annie, a very sad scene out here. The crews still have not found the body of the missing teenager from Grand Rapids, but they're using a lot of different resources in order to bring some closure to his family. The young man went missing Sunday evening around 4 p.m. when waves were around three to five feet. There was a red flag out as well here in Grand Haven State Park. Search crews were unable to find him last night and suspended that search once it became too dark. Crews returned this morning at 7 a.m. Lieutenant Lee Adams of Grand Haven Public Safety says today's water conditions are a bit better than they were last night, but there are still a lot of challenges for the crews on the lake. Yesterday we had a lot rougher conditions. Uh, today, as you can see, it's, it's still pretty rough. Uh, the divers were in since 8 in the morning. Um, they've been really struggling with the waves, but um, they're doing what they can do. And uh, now we're kind of running a lot of sonar. Um, so we're, we're kind of going off that right now. And it's frustrating when you have red flags and, um, you know, you still see kids out there swimming in the water today. Uh, it's, it's, it's frustrating, but, um, you know, it's, we just ask that people educate themselves about the lake and the different rip currents and um, just be careful with what they're doing. Lieutenant Adams also added that they had a lot of help from several different crews in several different counties as well, including the Muskegon County Marine Patrol, the Norton Shores Marine Patrol, Michigan State Police as well. And they also borrowed a drone from the Zealand Fire Department as well. They just switched crews about an hour ago, so they've been switching on and off all day long, and they'll be here until dark or until they find that young man. Reporting live in Grand Haven, Zach Herrick, Fox 17 News. All right, thank you for that.